It was another beautiful morning on the island of Sodom. As the sounds of heavy machinery and workers hard at work filled the yard, the engines waited cheerfully for the controller to arrive. Morning, wait a minute. Are you kidding me? The controller is late again? Well, some engines. Relax, Tim. The controller is always late. He'll be here soon. And that's the problem, right there. He's always late. How are we expected to be useful when this guy can't even show up on time? He should quit while he's ahead. Tim! What? Watch your tone. The controller's a very busy man. He already has enough problems as is. So? Do try to be more understanding, please. Instead of being another nuisance. I'm just saying. As the engines argued back and forth, a man arrived in the yard. Good morning, everyone. You're not the controller. Please say he's sick. Tim? I'm just joking. Is the controller all right? Yes, he's perfectly fine. But unfortunately, he will not be here to assign your jobs. So, he sent me here instead. Vivian, Dupont, your jobs will be the same as yesterday. Right yes, away, sir. sir! Tim, Jeremy, Edward is waiting for both of you at Titmouth. Once you've completed your task, the controller would like for you to meet at the quarry. Why the quarry? Why not have it here? Who cares? I love the quarry. Why are you always positive? Why are you always boring? What? I'm sorry, did I stutter? Enough, you two. We've got our assignments. DuPont is cracked. Quit fighting and get to work. I'd rather go back to sleep. Suit yourself. Wow, boring and lazy. Aren't you useful? Jeremy, I will push you into the turntable again. Hold your horses, Vivian. Don't leave me here with these idiots. Vivian and Pupil sit off on their way as Jeremy and Tim continue to argue about nonsense. Soon, the engines were hard at work. Vivian was cheerfully delivering a train of special coal to Henry. Come on now, don't want to be late. As Dupont had to collect a train of ore and deliver it to the docks. Now, we mustn't dilly or dally. When Tim and Jeremy finally finished arguing, they had forgotten about their jobs. Apologies for being late. Tim was so boring we all fell back asleep. The trucks began to laugh at Jeremy's joke. Jeremy, I swear, a bridge. You don't have the firebox. Edward laughed. Right, you two. We must get to work. We are already late enough. Sorry. As the engines finished their task for the day, one by one they gathered at the quarry. They were surprised to find that the ironworks engines were also there. Mike, Holly, Victoria and Freya, how are you? Hello, Vivian. Holly seemed happy to see everyone, but Mike was the opposite. Shouldn't you all be working? Stop being rude. The twins began arguing, like usual. Hello, Mike. Aren't you in a good mood today? Mm, funny. If you must know, the controller asked us to meet here. Wait, 
Was I supposed to get you all too? Wait, Victoria. Yes? You've seen the controller. Yes, what? When? He was here, like around 6 in the morning. The rest of us haven't seen him all day. Why'd you leave that part out? It didn't seem that important. Why would that not be important? You never asked. She's got a point. Why would I need to ask? Because you're the only one complaining. Well, fair enough. Sucks to suck. Tim, you suck in general. <sighs> Anyways, it's good to see everyone again. As the Since engines chatted ready. away, none of them noticed Four Donald friends. when he arrived How with the controller. I've been in charge of passenger services. It's quite exhausting. How about you? I've been splendid. Victoria, we should have a race before the controller arrives. I don't know. What do you think, sir? That would be exciting. But do try to avoid racing for now, Jeremy. Hello, Victoria. Hello, sir. Thank you for gathering everyone. Of course, sir. Why didn't you tell me uh -huh. was Good evening, everyone. Hello, Hello sir. sir. Hello, Mike. Hello, Holly. I apologize for calling this meeting on such short notice. All right, sir. We're all just happy to see you. I'm not. Tim! I do apologize, sir. Tim is still tired. Lack of sleep. I'd say lack of respect. The one to talk. You're more disrespectful than me. Good lie. It's not. Sure. All right, enough. Let's just start the meeting. To start, I'd like to announce that tomorrow, I'll be heading off to crew, and I'll be gone for a while. Yes, sir. What for? Are you finally going to replace Tim? Shut it, Jeremy. As you all might have noticed, the railway has started losing revenue quickly. You mean after what happened with the reboot? Yes, Mike. We all saw it. Let's try not to bring it up. Moving on. Sir Topham Hat has asked me to help with the new plans for the railway. So, that being said, I won't be your own like usual. You're never here anyway. So you all will have to manage for the time being while I'm gone. Meaning, you all will have to work together. That sounds amazing, sir. We'll do our best to be really useful. Sir, what about Sam? Glad you asked, Polly. I've put Sam on passenger services until I return. Why do I have to do this? Also, Ray. What is it, sir? You will be in charge until I return. But why me, sir? You're very responsible and hardworking. So I trust you can keep Jeremy and Tim out of trouble. Of course, sir. One last thing, Victoria. Yes? While Frey is in charge, you'll be in charge of keeping the yard organized. Yes, sir. As the controller glanced at his watch, he quickly turned around, ran to hop back onto the train. Thank you, everyone, but I must get going now. Please remember to be careful. As the controller left, the engines whistled goodbye.